does this would pave the way for the debt limit to be raised through the 2010 election in two chunks. But it would mandate that the second increase of the debt ceiling could only occur after a balanced budget amendment passed both chambers of Congress and went to the states for ratification. That's the big difference in Boehner 3.0. Now, before we get into the specifics of all of this, I want to say something to you conservatives out there. I want to tell you how damn proud of you I am, because you made this happen. The conservative intelligentsia, the conservative so-called media inside the Beltway, would have accepted anything. Yesterday, the day before, last night, would have accepted anything that Boehner put forth, because they are operating out of fear. The Republican leadership operating out of fear. And I want you to think, to transfer that to your personal life. And I want to ask you to consider, whenever you do anything out of fear, how does it turn out? Doing anything from the perspective of fear is disastrous, or potentially so. And that has been the position of the Republican leadership and the inside-the-beltway so-called conservative media. Fear. 